Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. It's me Nina Lauren and I have a very exciting video for you today. Today's video is a testimony miracle of just a few days ago when we went out evangelizing and the Lord literally dissolved four metal bullets out of a guy's back. On top of that, people were getting saved, giving their lives to the Lord, going through deliverance, walking through forgiveness, being healed of childhood traumas, like literally so many beautiful and amazing things happened. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the clip and then I will get into the testimony. The reason why I want to share this testimony is I want to build your faith. Like this is not about, oh, look what we did. Like we didn't do anything to be completely honest. Only the Lord could have done this. And so um, as we're going out, our heart is just to share the good news. It's literally a commandment that's in the Bible. Go out and make disciples of all the nations, okay? And so as we go out, our hearts are just to share the love of the Father with these people who maybe will never step foot into a church unless we go out to them. So we believe in taking the church beyond the four walls. And I'm so, so excited to share this clip with you. I'm going to share it. And then we'll talk about it. And then we're going to pray for you to receive your miracle today. Bro, what just happened? Oh, uh, so I had, a, I had, I got four bullets on my body. Two of them was inside my stomach. You could feel, you, you actually could feel two of them if you touch my back. Right. My boy right here actually prayed for me. Bro, I'm touching myself now, man. It's gone. The, gone, the metal bullets are gone. Everything is gone. I can't feel nothing. I don't feel no you, type of pain in my back. And how long have you had the pain? I've been, I had the bullets in my body for like the past about eight, nine years. Are you serious? I'm serious. Oh my God. Jeez. And actually, it, it didn't even happen in America when I got shot. Now, when we pulled up, did you, what'd you think? I seen y'all coming from over there. Right? <laughs> what did you think? I don't know. I knew y'all was coming over here. I seen y'all coming from over there. Cause oh. When somebody walking right there and I started screaming at them and I seen y'all, I'm like, they coming over here. Yeah. They actually took my boy back. Yeah. And the thing about it, we didn't come here for the food. No. We didn't come here for the food. We already knew that somebody in that circle had pain. It's crazy because actually, out of all of them, him yeah. with the yellow hat, uh -huh. he knows mostly all, like, you know, he knows mostly everything. That right, so right. That's like my best friend. Wow. Oh, so that's why he's serious. So he's felt it. He's felt it before you. Yeah. Yo, 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 have a feel for it. See if you can find it. Hey, hey, us out here and told us he was going to do creative miracles tonight Amen. and he sent us out here for you brother yeah, and for all of you wow he loves you, you love any you last words man i just appreciate y'all man god bless all of y'all you guys just keep doing your hard work i hope not just for me but for everybody else for anybody that's going on through anything any pain any I love Mental health, yep. physical, yep. health problems. It? It's okay. Y'all live. Yeah, God bless y'all. Thank you for I hope to see you at the church one of these days, brother. I hope to be there too. Amen. God bless you. Okay, wow. Praise God. Literally still getting chills every time I watch that because the goodness of our God is literally so overwhelming. So let's give a little bit of backstory. So I go to a local church near me. It's called Light Seekers Ministries in Palm Bay, Florida. Shout out to them. I'll actually tag their YouTube channel. If you are ever in Florida or you're in Central Florida, you have to come check us out. We recently just moved our service from the normal traditional Sunday service to the Friday night service, which has been amazing because what we've been doing is going out and evangelizing at the downtown, at the clubs and the bars afterwards. So this was our second Friday night service and we decided to go out. We started with going to a local bar near the church. There really wasn't anyone there because 
we honestly we got out around like two and everything closes at two where we live so we were just kind of like okay like let's just see what happens um but we did meet a lady there as we were like walking around just trying to figure out what's going on um she comes up to us and she asks if we have a cigarette and we're just like no we don't have a cigarette and we had waters and stuff that we were handing out so we're like would you like water and we were like we have something better so we ended up like asking her if she needs prayer praying over her sharing the gospel with her she gives her life to the lord my pastor prays for her to be filled with the holy spirit she just leaves super encouraged and god is so so good obviously we invite these people back to the church so they can come and be discipled so that's really powerful and amazing um, but really there wasn't anyone there. So we decided we're going to go from there. We're going to go to downtown. And so of course, all of the bars and clo clubs are closed, but we know that there's still going to people going to be people down there because we did this last week and there was just like this four random people that we ran into. So this time we end up parking in a parking garage of a hotel and, um, we come out and we immediately see like this vacant lot and it has like a little food truck and it has this like table of like seven or eight guys and they're um they're just like hanging out and so as we're walking up like we can see like they're in each other's faces like they're a little rowdy you know so we're kind of just like okay holy spirit like like is this a good situation to walk up on um because like walking up on drunk men at three o'clock in the morning is you know not always the safest thing um but our pastor actually had a word of knowledge that someone there had pain in their body and so um we decided to approach them and uh we let the <laughs> the guys let the girls kind of go up my pastor and our good friend heather uh went up and said hey does anyone have pain in their body and uh one of the guys was like i do you know i have pain in my back and uh our pastor desiree was like um, well, you know, can we pray for you? The Lord wants to heal you today. And he was like confused. He's like, but I have a beer in my hand. And she was like, it doesn't matter. Like the Lord wants to show you his love and he's going to heal you regardless because he loves you. And, and she basically explained to him, like the behavior will change, but he just wants to show you that he loves you. He's called you that he's here for you. And he's going to heal you tonight, despite your sin, despite who you are. It was this beautiful, beautiful, uh, transaction that happened and so um he agrees to prayer we all circle him and just you know lay our hands on him we're praying healing over his back he starts to say yo i feel fire in my back i feel fire in my back and he's like super excited and we're just like praise god you know so we kind of break off from there and everyone's kind of ministering to each of these guys um there's about five of us and like seven of them and two of them are sitting off in the corner so we're like five on five right now and so I'm still ministering to this guy, just kind of talking to him. And um, I decided to ask him how his back felt, if he had gotten healed. And he says, yeah, I don't feel the pain, but it's going to come back. And I was just kind of like, what do you mean by that? And now fast forward to just two days before, uh, the Lord had been sharing with us that we were going to see creative miracles happen on this night. And so I'm like, all right, I'm ready to see limbs grow. So I'm like looking at his legs. I'm like, are your legs uneven? And he's like, no, 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 my legs are fine. And then he, he kind of like points to his back, lifts up his shirt a little bit. And he's like, um, nine years ago, I was actually shot and I have four bullets that four metal bullets that are still in my bag. He said, I didn't want to get the surgery to have them removed. So I just left them there, but they caused me a lot of pain. And he's like, you can actually feel one of them there. It's on the surface that like you can literally feel the bullet in his back. And so me, because I watch a lot of Katie Souza, shout out to Katie Souza's ministries. I guess I should send her a minute miracle selfie video or whatever, <laughs> um, because if I had not seen her metal miracle testimonies, I honestly had never heard of that happening. I was raised in church, didn't see a lot of miracles. I was raised in religion, I should say. Um, didn't really see a lot of miracles. So in my mind, I feel the Holy Spirit just like word vomit out of me. Oh, would you like us to pray for that metal to be dissolved? And he kind of looked at me like I was literally cuckoo. Like he was like, girl, what do you mean? <laughs> and so of course me being a female, I'm not gonna lay hands on this guy's like upper hip. Um, and so I call my husband over and he's pacing, not realizing he's getting a word of knowledge for someone who isn't even there yet, who's about to come down. That's a whole nother story. Very powerful. I'll have him hop on and share that and we'll release that this week. Um, 
But anyways, so I call my husband over. I'm like, hey, babe, let's lay hands on him and let's pray for God to dissolve these bullets. And I'm like, do you believe that God can do it? And he's like, honestly, no, but y'all can still pray for me. And so um, at this point, I look at him in the eyes and I'm like, I've seen it happen before. And so even though I never, hey, baby, I never really saw like in person, I had seen so many testimonies of people's metals being dissolved. Um, and so I was just like, I'm not the healer, like the Lord is. And so my husband and I begin to pray for this young man. And um, my husband prays, I pray, my husband prays again. And as my husband's praying the third time, he feels just this power of the Lord just being released out of his hands into this guy's back. And then he feels a release in the spirit. And so he, he stops and he says, hey man, feel your back. So this guy feels his back throws his hands up in the air, screams, runs off, and is crying. He goes to, he runs to the tail end of his truck, and he's just on his truck, like, crying. You can, uh, you can see it in some pictures that I have on my Mommy Facebook. Mommy he did run to the truck, baby. <laughs> my sweet boy's here. Um, and so we're just like, dude, what? Okay. So my husband walks over, and he's like, Hey man, what's going on? Like, did like are they gone? And he's like, dude, they're gone. So my husband, who felt, did I? I don't know if I mentioned that my husband came and felt the bullets. So anyways, so my husband goes back over after this guy runs off crying. Feels bullets are gone. Bullets are gone. You can see in the testimony, he's like, dude, what the heck? Uh, I don't feel the pain. I don't have the bullets there. It's absolutely amazing. There was one guy there who had been friends with him for a long time who knew the story and who had actually felt the bullets before. So you can see in the video, we're like, hey, go have him, like go have him feel. And so um, the guy, you can see in the video, the guy feels and the bullets are gone. And the most beautiful thing about all of this is that God met these people where they were. They didn't have to clean themselves up and come to church. You can literally hear him say in the video that he even went to a miracle night and did not <clears throat> receive this healing, receive this miracle. But God met him out on the street at three o'clock in the morning with a beer in his hand and healed his body in a miraculous way. That is the love of our father. And so it's his love and his kindness that ended up drawing these men to repentance. And even some of the ones who were like, kind of standoffish off to the side began to come over and we began to minister to these men this guy ended up uh getting healed and just the, the love of god washing over him from some childhood trauma and another guy walked through forgiveness was delivered from a spirit of fear and um all of them gave their lives to the lord and were filled with the holy spirit it was such a beautiful time and some of them really had their walls up some of them really did they were just kind of like who are these crazy people coming up to us on the street at three o'clock in the morning as we're literally like rowdy and arguing and it was literally just the love of god meeting them there that night and once the miracle happened, everyone's walls fell down and these men were able to receive. And the beautiful thing about our ministry, that's why I honor my pastors, Pastor Nate and Desiree Carter, um, is because now these people, instead of going out to the clubs and the bars on Friday night, next Friday, they can come to our church service where we literally turn up, like go watch my shorts, y'all. We go and it is so powerful, such a great time. And so now these men can begin to hop in our discipleship classes and um, really begin to have their lives transformed. And that's going to be a story that he tells for the glory of God for the rest of his life. He will never forget how Jesus met him where he was and healed his body miraculously in a moment. And that is the power of our God. And so I pray that this inspires your faith. I pray that it helps you to know that you don't have to be perfect. God is not looking for perfect people. In his grace, he perfects us, okay? And so we simply believe on the, the name of Jesus and make him Lord of our lives and walk in obedience to him, okay? He is perfect. We look to the perfect one. You don't have to have it all together to receive healing in your body. I believe that as the Lord heals your body today, that you are going to begin to also experience the freedom that comes from making Jesus your Lord and Savior. And so I want to pray those two things for you today. So if you need healing in your body, 
And if you would like to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and be filled with his Holy Spirit, then let's go ahead and do that. Now, for some of you, you can feel the presence of God right now. You can feel this tug on your heart, this burning in your stomach. God says, if you if you hear me knock, I want to read it. It's in Revelation. It says, if you hear me knock, harden not your heart. No, there's one in Revelation. There's also one in Psalms and it's in Hebrews. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, hallelujah. Okay. I don't have it before. But the Lord God says, if you hear me knock this day, harden not your heart. So I just pray that you would not harden your heart to that knock. Listen, my friends, today is the day for salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Today, the Lord God has his arms stretched out. They're always stretched out to you. But in this moment, he's saying, come, my child. I have been calling you. And I believe that as he heals your body today, it's the kindness of God, the grace of God for him to heal you. That's going to lead your heart into repentance. Okay, so let's pray. So wherever you need healing in your body, I want to challenge you to take your hand, place it on that, that part. If it's your mind, if it's mental battles, I want you to place it on your mind. If it's your womb, if it's uh, a tumor, if it's a broken bone, whatever it is, I want you to place your hand on that area and believe by faith today that the Lord God is going to meet you now just like he did for that gentleman and just like he has time and time and time and time and time again because he is faithful and he is our healer okay so place your hand on that place of pain and heavenly father we honor you we honor you lord we thank you abba that you are good that you are faithful that you are the Lord God, Jehovah Rapha, our healer, that you came down in the form of Jesus Christ and died on the cross, took our pain, our diseases, our infirmities, our afflictions, our sicknesses. You took it all, our curses, you took it all on your body so that we could receive healing. I, I decree and declare over this son and daughter that healing is their portion. I pray, Lord, that you would meet them where they are, that you would release your healing power to them now in the name of Jesus. We speak healing to that area in your mind, he healing to that broken bone, healing right now to that tumor. I command it to shrink in the name of Jesus. I feel the power of God right now. Lord, I just thank you that as you're healing their bodies, that you're also pouring out the love of God. Let them receive the love of God for all of the inner wounds Lord it says that you bind up the wounds of the brokenhearted. So where they're wounded, where they have trauma, where they have hurt, where they've been abused, Lord, I just pray that the love of God would go into those soul wounds and begin to heal them and restore them. And your word says that we prosper and are in health as our soul prospers. So as you heal those inner wounds of their inner man, Lord, I thank you that you're also healing their body. And Lord, where there may be sickness, we cancel every diagnosis, we cancel every word curse we cancel every generational curse we sever them off the bloodline of generational curses we sever them off of every contract with their name on it and and every word every uh what is it when the doctor gives you a um diagnosis we cancel every diagnosis we cancel every word curse spoken over them father i pray right now that you would renew their mind for them to come out of agreement with this sickness with this affliction in the name of jesus we judge that every spirit of infirmity we judge every spirit of cancer every spirit of um of uh, i don't want to say the word of, of COVID. We judge those things now from your throne in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Lord, that you would send a righteous judgment for your son and your daughter to receive healing now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for it, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We call on angels to be released for creative miracles where people need a new pancreas, a new kidney, a new liver, a new heart, Lord. I pray that you would do it now. 
I pray that you would release the angels of the Lord now. Where anyone needs metal dissolved out of their body, we pray right now, Father, for the metal to be dissolved in the name of Jesus. We speak to that metal. We command it to eject from their body. We command it to dissipate in the name of Jesus. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Thank you, Lord. You are faithful and we trust you. We thank you for it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you. We choose right now in this moment to repent. Repentance is beautiful. It simply means to turn our hearts back to you. So if this is us turning our hearts back to you or turning our hearts to you for the first time, I want you to say out of your mouth right now, I repent. I repent before you, Lord, for my wrong living, for not making you Lord of my life. And I choose this day to make you Lord of my life. Today, I hear your voice. I hear your knock. And I will not harden my heart. But I invite you in. Change me. Restore me. Impart sonship and daughtership unto me. I receive the blood of Jesus for all of my sins. I receive the blood of Jesus to cover my life. And in this moment, I am made new in Christ. In the name of Jesus. I ask for the promised free gift of the Holy Spirit to come and fill me to make its home in my heart, to dwell with me, to lead me, to guide me. In the name of Jesus, fill me, Holy Spirit. Fill me, Holy Spirit. I give my life to you, Lord. I give my life to you. In the name of Jesus, amen. If you prayed that prayer, I am so beyond excited for you. I really challenge you to reach out to our ministry so we can come alongside you and help you on this faith walk. Also, if you're a female, I recommend that you join me in Powerhouse Babes for ongoing mentorship and discipleship. Get plugged into an on-fire local church and uh, go out and do the work that Jesus commanded us to in his word. I love you all so, so much. I just thank you, Lord, for the miracles that are going to come from your word being spoken forth on this video today. I love you all. As always, I will see you on the next one.